Tony, what do you reckon the most misunderstood thing about Sparkies is? Whew. They don't tidy up. They're always late. They're always first to leave. All those things get said about them. Let's be honest, it's true. <laughs> you can have that back and stop showing off. This is the CEF Power Tool Show, and today is our Sparky special. We're going to be talking all things power tools, and we're going to be telling you why CEF is the place to go for all your power tool needs, no matter what trade you're in. If you fancy winning your own bundle, you need to stick around, and we're going to tell you how you can enter and win. But for now, I'm here with Tony from Joint Tech Cabling. How have you been? Been good. It's good to be here. I'm looking forward to it. And what have you been up to? Because we're all dying to know. I've been given the very first wall chaser that's battery powered uh, by DeWalt on the FlexVolt system. Um, it runs off a 54 volt battery. What a machine. That sounds incredible. I can't wait to see it. Let's take a look. DeWalt 54 volt wall chaser. I've got a good plan for this one. We've got the box, which is the T-Stack charger, two 50 volt stroke 80 volt batteries. That's a proper set line. Crowbar, and then we've machine. got the machine itself. I like this bit, a non-slip ring, so once it's tightened on, it's there. There's no tools then involved, width, so you, you can just three mil, tighten it on with your fingers. Six mil, nine. So you can just change the width of the chip. Uh -huh. And then your maximum. So we Very can clever, set them up a bit of innovation. The maximum width of cut. It's, it's actually over 30 miles from outside to outside the blade, so you can get two cables comfortably in some cap and down that. I had an idea for the first use. Small as well. Is that idea compact. Right Very here, compact, yeah. See that mess there? Well, what I'm planning on doing, I'm going to dig a hatch, but I need to cut the hatch out of the concrete. I need to cut the hole. Why am I digging a hatch? There's a certain YouTube channel by a man called... Why are Colin you digging Fowles. a hatch? Now, he dug <laughs> an underground bunker in his back garden. That got me thinking. I fancy doing that. Now, to That's make why. the initial cut in his shed, he used a still saw. A petrol powered still saw. Don't want to use the petrol inside, do you? No. I'm going to give that a crack and see how it holds up against concrete. Essentially, this is the great escape. Look how it flies for it. Really good, and that is the maximum depth top quality well. concrete. Is that a that has just gone through that well, like nobody's business? As a cutting tool, a battery operated cutting tool, that is powerful, very powerful indeed. What a bit of kit! That looks incredible. It was very good. I started with certain depth depth settings to get. 5 mil, 12 mil, and then I worked it down. So do they have a nuclear bun bunker depth as well? Yeah, is that, that, was the, that, was the next, that was the next one. But what I did is I let it go to its maximum and just plunged it straight down and it just So it you didn't even have to cut down. it a little bit at a time? No, no, no. Straight, no, full it, depth. It wasn't a pass away. and then another pass and then another pass. You, it would go to 32 mil and you could just pull it back. That's it was, incredible because obviously it's battery powered. We've uh -huh. not even mentioned that. Like mm -hmm. this is... As far as I'm aware, one of the first battery powered chasing tools you can have. And to be able to cut so easily at such a depth as well, yeah. that's incredible, isn't it? Having used them before, corded ones, I either 240 or 110, depending on how much you spend, obviously, they can struggle. Yeah. As you're going up a wall, down a wall, across a floor, however you choose to use it. But that didn't show any signs of struggle, nothing Just at all. Knife through butter. Basically, incredible. yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, not only is obviously the battery power is amazing, no cables, we all like battery powered stuff, mm -hmm. but to be able to actually do that in such a small compact thing as well, it looks manoeuvrable, it looks lightweight, mm -hmm. I mean, it's pretty much ticking all the boxes, isn't it? I would say the majority of the weight is the actual battery. The tool itself right, okay. is very, very lightweight, so it's if you're chasing from a ceiling down to the floor, it's, it's more than handleable yeah, to, to move it down. If you're doing that all day long, it's hard work. You want exactly, something, yeah, you nice want something lightweight. lightweight, yeah. So I've got to ask, why a bunker? Like I said in the VT, what we had, I watched a YouTube channel, the guy did it, and I thought, that is a great concept, it's a great idea for, obviously, for a bit of fun, but for storage and for an office or whatever. Fantastic way to avoid your other half, I imagine. Uh, there is that, <laughs> there is that. But he used the petrol still saw, and I thought, would it hold up? Would it be as efficient as, it, as a petrol still saw? Brand new I mean, blades, let's go. In a confined space like that, petrol is, Oh, it's God, a big no-no, yeah. really. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they're incredibly dusty. Mm -hmm. Even if you, you know, connect a hose or something, 
they're going to make a mess. Yeah. You don't want to be in a small room with that kind of tool. No. no so no. this seems like the perfect solution, really. And um, the, also the noise of the engine of the still saw. You know, yeah, of course, yeah. That's gonna that's gonna impact on what you wear near the fenders or whatever. But it, it, I mean, obviously it was quite noisy. But compared to a still saw, no, not really. So if you need a nuclear bunker, <laughs> yeah, if you fancy making a nuclear bunker, get yourself a Absolutely water. Yeah, but that is minimal effort, maximum output, and like you said, you're not dragging cords from room to room. You've got to take your Hoover. You've got to take the tool itself. They're easily. Taking it's, it's one hand each and you, you're onto the next one. It's going to speed up your day to day. Oh, 100%. CEF have got thousands of power tools available in store, online, with next day delivery. Which brings me to you, because you use some pretty niche tools. Yeah, they are quite niche, very specialised. So, why is that? What is it you do? As a cable jointer, I tend to solely work with the power cables on a site. I don't do anything else like a normal Sparky would, it's just the big power cables, big incoming power. So essentially, similar to an electrician's role, but on a massive, massive scale. The same thing, but it just gets scaled up. Well, for that exact reason, we've asked you to put together a tiny toolbox with your five go-to tools that you can't get through a day without. Yeah, it's not so much a tiny toolbox, because they would, certainly wouldn't fit in. Fancy having a look at them? I'd love to, I can't wait. Welcome to my tiny toolbox. <laughs> five different tools that I can't really do without during the day. I want to start off really simple. As a cable jointer, that. Stanley knife, it is an essential item. Tool number two, two, two this is a tool me, yeah. that isn't designed for doing my job. It's designed for This is a godsend. So this is an exhaust cutter. What on earth is it? Allows that? me to cut varying size cables with ease. It allows so me to do... It's like um, a Swiss army tool. We're on tool number three. Job, which Shumbrake, is vastly quicker. Crimping tool. I could do my job without it, oh but again, God. I'll be a lot slower. Tool number no four. No idea. So Looks like you might find a scrap. is the Klauka Mini Cutter. You'd certainly now, find one of those. The older that generation lethal. might recognise what it looks like. It looks a little bit like Emu. <laughs> yeah. Tool number five. So if we had Emu, we sort of went along the theme of birds. That looks like the other one on steroids. It's a, yeah, it's a big bird. <laughs> it's a big boy. So that's what this is. Oh, this is big some weight to it. And I use this to cut cables. Yeah, it can be a bit sort of cumbersome. With the steel wire armouring on, the amount of time it saves you because if you're using a recip saw or really a isn't a tiny saw, toolbox, is it? Not a very tiny at all. You've got chance of the cable twisting and snagging and biting onto the blade whereas this it's so useful though so, so useful like a hot knife through the butter so that was my tiny toolbox tour my five essential tools that i can't do without thanks for watching it's but, intriguing yeah and i want to have a go well <laughs> we've got them we're obviously we can start with it's got to, it's got it's to be you don't even need got to justify be used. it doesn't need to be explained We've all got one in We've our pockets. One. We've all got loads of them kicking around in our vans. Yeah. We don't need to explain the that. The next one. tool that we come to is that it's not designed to do my job. It looks like some job. sort of torture device. I mean, I suppose it could be. Depends where you <laughs> clamp it round. It's designed for mechanics. <laughs> right, okay. To cut exhaust, obviously. Yeah. But I use it to cut the steel wire armouring on cables to allow me to get them into oh, panels okay. and switchboards and whatever else. So it is incredible how much time mm. it actually saves. That is an incredible bit of kit. And presumably that then just gets through the cabling almost instantaneously. It does, yeah, yeah. Versus, I mean, what would the other options be? The other option is a hacksaw. Right, So okay, the hacksaw, wow. you'd, you'd have to sort of cut like this, whereas th this piece, you just loop it's, it round and roll it's round. It's a lot of effort as well, isn't it? If you've got to try and saw through a big cable, that's yeah. gonna just... It yeah. just goes through it, yeah. It's, it's, it's incredible. What's next? So the next tool in the armory is Chambray B50. Now. What's that in English? Exactly. So it's a <laughs> crimping tool. It's a hydraulic, battery-powered crimping tool. So what you've got is a cable lug. They go on to the end of the core of each cable. For those of you watching, that is not just a cable lug. That is the biggest cable lug oh, I've ever seen in my ones. life. <laughs> but yeah, so that, that just goes inside. We'll release it a little bit. Goes inside and then, oh dear. 
it tightens up, we put a core inside of that, crimp it to a, a set. That's incredible. So effortless. A as set well. tension, which on this is it says 50 kilonewtons, that equates to about five ton. Oof, so there's five ton of pressure going through the machine. In a small, in a handheld. In a relatively small yeah. handheld machine. Yeah, yeah. That's it is incredible. Pretty, it is pretty good. So the next one, so, we've crimped the core, but before we crimp the core, we have to cut it. So how does this differ to what the cutting tool you've already shown? Ah, so this, I mean, this is a scoring tool. <laughs> it's not a cutting tool. Right, okay. This is the cutting tool. So if we want to go just through the surface, yep, that's we're using it. this. You go through that. This actually cuts things in half. I can believe that. It's a, it's a cloak and mini. I mean, that looks like it'll go through more or less anything. Right. It will to a certain size. <laughs> it will to a certain size. The bigger stuff is a no-no because it hasn't got the, the power. When we need the power, we get the big guns out. Is that. Now, as you can see, that's if I hold the whole thing up, you can see what it's all about. It's huge, isn't it? As an example, so if we release the tension a little bit, this is some of the stuff I use what? on a daily basis. Now, if you feel the weight of it. That is incredible. Even for me, that's heavy. That, I mean. That's a lump. And this is the kind of cables you handle. Every day. All day, every day. Every day. Wow. So, you place it through and we'll take the tension. So now that's starting to make the cut. So if you want to hold yon side, hold the other side of that. Don't worry, I'm, I won't. I'm, I'm a won't. bit scared to put my hand anywhere Don't near worry. this. <laughs> I won't cut your fingers off. So you ready? Famous last words are. go that's incredible you can do it with a band actually there we go a band saw you could do it with that you can do it with a reciprocating saw there are other tools you can do but like I mentioned if you cut it with a tool that has a blade right these because of the size of them they, they have a, a propensity <laughs> to twist big words now if I it twists it, it bites the blade right, then you've got okay. to stop you've got to reposition yourself and try and get through it that solely uses pressure. So in actual fact, by using the pressure and using the specific tool, you're doing a neater, tidier, yeah. and quicker job. It's good. I work on a price-based system, it's all about time. All of these items are time-saving items. So they're making you money. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're lying in those pockets. Well, happy days. Hopefully. <laughs> Remember to head over to CEF for all your power tool needs at hugely competitive prices. And if you want to win that bundle from CEF that we mentioned earlier, then follow the link in the comments below, enter details, and a winner will be picked at random. Tony, good luck driving home in this weather, because it is miserable. Yeah, it is a bit, isn't it? But what can we do? Champion, mate. Thank you very much for having me. It's been a good one. Those tools are absolutely incredible as well. Yeah, they're all bad, aren't they? <laughs>